hello cancer welcome to your love reading this is for cancer sun moon rising and venus <coughs> let me quickly have a look at the cards <coughs> all right <clears throat> definitely looks like there has been some kind of confusion okay either someone has had their options open or there has been um, someone who has a lot on their plate, but there's finally someone here who's ready to make a choice, narrowing down their options, and someone's looking at situ that situation in a more practical way. Okay, it could be someone who had a lot, of, who was in that dreamy stage. Okay, having a lot of daydreaming, you know, daydreaming about you or you daydream daydreaming about them. But right now, there's someone here who's wanting clarity, and that is you, Cancer. Okay, again. <clears throat> Before I forget the most important thing, I'm looking at this as cancer and this side as the person you're dealing with. You can feel free to switch the energies. So, what I feel is that there's been a time when there's been probably a break between you guys. <coughs> or you... <coughs> I'm sorry. Or you guys have just had a lot of confusion around your situation. But now what I'm seeing is that at least you cancer... You have clarity about a situation because you have the Ace of Swords on your mind here. So I feel that you want clarity. You have like this new idea or you have like a new way of thinking. Okay, this could be a new way of thinking also with a new perspective. But you definitely want to approach the situation in a new light. All right, but something with a lot of logic and a lot of fact. Okay, you're wanting to approach the situation with a lot of logic. The person you're dealing with, on the other hand here, wants a second chance with you, with the judgment here, okay? This person could be someone who wants a reconciliation. Like I said, I do feel there could have been a breakup between you guys. <clears throat> but definitely someone here with the judgment here who wants a second chance, okay? After whatever has happened. The mutual energy is to start in reverse, which means that both of y'all are losing hope, okay? Both of y'all don't have enough faith and hope that things will work out but again the star in reverse is testing your testing a situation okay how badly you want it that's one of the reasons why the star in reverse also comes in right keep wishing upon it all right keep hoping stay positive mean that's the main um, reason why the star usually comes stay positive keep up your hope and keep working keep manifesting towards it so this person out here with the devil here is very obsessed and addicted with you, okay? They cannot let you go. They're very codependent on you, okay? This is a lot of obsession and they want this reconciliation anyhow. You on the other side with a hangman in reverse in your feelings, I feel that you've had a break. You've taken a break. You probably pulled yourself out of the situation. You've been, you know, probably the situation was in a big break, a pause, you know? And I think after a period of isolation, after a period of a, a break, right, of stagnancy, you're coming out of that and you're ready to take action towards this person, okay? So yeah, there may have been like a little slowdown in your love life with this person, okay? Uh, which was literally forcing you to take the time out to consider a different perspective, okay, towards this situation. So I feel you have re-emerged with a more clearer understanding of what you expect from relationships or what you should be giving this person okay <clears throat> could be a long time you know that a, a long held belief a deep seated, seated belief or something that was very old fashioned something right has been shed okay and now you have a new perspective and you're now very equipped to take action or make any changes in this relationship all right with that renewed energy this person out here with the devil here, I don't feel that they have learned their lessons. Okay, with the devil here, there's still some kind of codependence energy, codependent energy, like I said. Could be ego, could be a negative pattern that this person keeps repeating, which is probably, you know, something that you realize and you need to cut off. Okay, maybe this person here was keeping you very confused with their actions, giving you mixed signals. Okay, <clears throat> but this person can't let go and I don't think they're letting you let go for sure. See, you have that new way of communicating, okay? And you're wanting clarity. With the lovers in reverse here as your approach, I feel that either your approach is more disconnected, okay? Right now, you guys are just not on the same page and you probably don't even know where this is going. But one of you or you could have been taking a little more time to know whether you want to approach the situation or want to get into a deeper commitment with this person. It could also be that you were more emotionally involved in the situation than this person here okay and that's why there's this imbalance in your relationship here 
this person out here, <clears throat> there's the crying of a spilt milk, okay? The crying of a spilt milk. This is someone who's constantly regretting and want and you know investing their energies into something that's already passed over and gone with. The five of cups is a reminiscing card. They're missing you and they have a lot of regret about what happened in the past, all right? But what I like with the Six of Pentacles is that there is going to be a balance in your situation. Okay, you guys, there is going to be some balance here and I have a feeling you guys are going to come back together. <clears throat> I don't know who's going to make the move, but it looks like most likely the person on this side is going to make the move because you have communication on your side, okay? All right, let's see. What's the Seven of Cups? Why the Seven of Cups in reverse? 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 <clears throat> See, clarity about wanting a brand new beginning, all right? Someone's thinking practically or someone definitely is very sure, okay? Either this person has let go of their options or someone is very sure, they're no more confused and now they're wanting to approach this situation in a more practical manner, wanting to take action and whoever this person is, this person, I think this is you, Cancer, if not you, could be the cross watcher, but you want a brand new beginning in love. You want a renewal in love with this person. I'd say you both want the same thing. That's why probably the Six of Pentacles, right? Because they want the judgment, the reconciliation, and you want a brand new, a brand new beginning. Uh, why the Ace of Swords? Why the Ace of Swords? <clears throat> why the Ace of Swords? You have two Aces here. Tell me why the Ace of Swords? Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so you probably want clarity about a situation. Just one second. Just let me switch on the lights. <clears throat> I feel there's clarity coming in about a situation after there has been a breakup or a separation, okay? Because your relationship probably lacks that stability and security, all right? Maybe there has been an ending of a commitment or maybe there's someone here who you're dealing with who's non-committal. It could very well be you who's non-committal, okay? Now, finally, you've risen to the fact that you want to be in a commitment, okay? And after there has been this uh, disharmony within your relationship, you want to come in and clear the air, okay? So you want to break through with this person. Uh, what is the judgment? 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 Page of Pentacles, they want to communicate with you, but looks like this side is more of an apology. The Page of Pentacles is wanting to have a peaceful resolution, raising the white flag, wanting to start something stable, committed, something solid, something tangible, you know, wanting to offer something secure, all right? And that's what they're wanting. That's all, It's already on their mind. <clears throat> you both want to resolve this. You both do want to. It's just that one person is like, you know what, like, let's just like kiss and make up, let's reconcile. And the other person's very hurt and they want to reconcile because they feel that there's a way, there's an issue where you guys are just not being able to get together or you guys are just not being able to get that stability in your relationship. What is the hangman in reverse? What is the hangman in reverse? of cups lovely you want 
Oh, you know what? I feel you're both apologizing. But anyways, this person has something more stable to offer you than you, okay? Because Page of Cups is a very emotional card. So yes, definitely, I think, you know what? I think you, on the other hand here, you could have had a very hard time opening up emotionally. You could have had trust issues. You know, you probably were not wanting to be emotionally vulnerable. But probably after this break, after this, this moment of confusion, you have realized that things could have gone off because you weren't being able to open up. You were a little shy probably or just someone who was suppressing their emotions emotion suppressing their feelings now you're ready to open up because you've given yourself that time okay to want to see things in a different point of view from their point of view and you probably realize that you know this is what is required in the relationship to move forward so they have the page of pentacles you have the page of cups could be a new relationship because i'm seeing pages and aces etc doesn't have to but it can also mean that there has been a cycle that has ended between you guys okay and now you're starting a new chapter within the same connection <clears throat> But yeah, you're wanting to communicate on an emotional level. What's the devil? What's the devil? What's the devil? The devil in reverse. They're obsessed to another level. So either this person wants to rebuild after there's been a devil moment between you guys, which means a breakup, shakeup, separation, divorce, whatever. Or this is someone who is just trying to avoid a huge disaster. They know that it's going to be like, I mean, hell is going to make loose if you guys just completely walk away or they walk away from you and it's not going to be good, okay? So this person wants to avoid any mess. They don't want to create a mess and they want to come back towards you and it's only because they are obsessed. I'm getting obsession, nothing else, okay? <clears throat> this person wants to get back. Sorry. Sorry, I take that back. That's the hermit in reverse. How could I say that? I'm so sorry. So, but the devil is on the hermit in reverse. Here. Yeah, so this person, okay. So again, like I'm saying, look, you have the hangman, they have the hermit. So you both went in your corners and now this person has finally had the time to come out of isolation and they've come to an epiphany, they've come to a realization that this is a connection that they cannot get rid of. They cannot do anything about it. They love you too much. Okay, and this love is turning into obsession, which means that from this side, I feel more attachment towards you. Okay, there's more attachment towards the other side here. They're very attached to you and they cannot let you go. And probably they're now ready to come out of isolation and talk to you. Okay, they've had some kind of realization. Probably a lot of what, when, where, how, why. And they realize that they want this new beginning with you. They want a second chance. They want an opportunity to make things right. It could also mean that this person is a little more too isolated than they should be. They could be a little isolated also. Yes, they are ready to talk. But again, I feel that this person earlier, probably you thought this person was just a little withdrawn. But now this person is having a hard time to coming out of that isolation mode, okay? Because we have the devil here, which is also there in their feelings, okay? So there is something here which is stopping them from opening up or from up, uh, <clears throat> from expressing their feelings, okay? The devil is, you know, suppressing your feelings, right? So something that you have a hard time controlling. You can get rid of it, but they just believe they cannot do it, okay? So I'm getting with the hermit in reverse, there could be some of you where the person you're dealing with is too isolated and they're having a very difficult time come, getting back to the real life, okay? Or getting back uh, in track. They're trying to realign themselves, but this is the problem with the hermit here. When you're hermiting, it's a good energy, but you need to know when to snap out of that energy. You know, if you don't, you tune, you tune into yourself too much and then you start getting isolated and lonely, you know, and then you have a very hard time coming out of it and you just don't know when to come out, which makes the opposite person feel that you're not interested. You know, the hermit anyways gives you mixed signals, but the hermit in reverse, if it's not coming out of isolation, it's just that someone who's choosing to stay there in that energy, feeling lonely and, you know, overthinking and overanalyzing. And that could be something that they're doing emotionally. What is the star in reverse? What is the star in reverse? What is the star in reverse? You're both losing hope and faith because that's the mutual energy here. What is the star in reverse? Wow, you both want this brand new beginning, okay? Ace of Pentacles. You both want Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. I love it. 
you both want this emotional beginning with each other along with stability okay but you're both losing hope you're also probably still in the dreaming stage okay you're still dreaming of communicating with this person okay you're still not ready to take that fierce action because i don't see any any kings or queens here okay nor do i see it on their part okay so yeah i, I still think you both are still in your corners okay not very ready to make things happen all right this person looks very very detached uh, very uh, lonely not detached they are attached but very lonely all right they've isolated themselves too much and because of that look in, in their attitude they're still crying over spilt milk five of cups that's an energy but if you stay in that energy for a very long time you can turn into depression and depression leads to inaction okay that's exactly what's happening so logically on their mind they want things with you but emotionally i think this is someone who's more emotional but emotionally they're having a hard time opening up <clears throat> what's the lovers in reverse what's the lovers in reverse what's the lovers in reverse with? Eight of Wands, see? Uh, <clears throat> you want forward communication, okay, with this person, but right now, you feel you're the one who's emotionally more invested in this person, okay? And that's one of the reasons why there could be a delay in communication, but you definitely want to. You probably even want to travel to this person. See, Three of Cups, you too want a reconciliation. You want to get back to this person. But right now, you probably feel either this person has fear of commitment or there is one person here who needs to probably think about, you know, whether they want to move forward in a, a more deeper level, all right? But I feel that you have that realization of what you want with this person. But again, still, you feel very detached. You feel very lonely. Disconnection is what I'd say, whilst this person is still crying over spilled milk, still invested into, you know, they're repeating the negative pattern repeating those same thoughts they're not being able to come out of whatever they're not being able to get over what happened in the past and move forward not move on but move forward you know why the five of cups <clears throat> why the five of cups why is this their approach see strength in reverse here this person does not have the courage they do not have the courage to approach you. It's on their mind here, but in their feelings and in their approach, they're copping out. They're not making that big, bold move that they need to make in order for them to come, you know, for them to come towards you and ask for that reconciliation or even communicate with you. The strength in reverse is just giving up. They're giving up without putting that effort. They're taking the easy way out, guys. Seriously, they're taking the easy way out. They want the same thing that you do, but it's probably easy for them to isolate themselves and not look at the problem, thinking it'll go away, rather than approach you making that big move, okay? Uh, tell me, why is the Six of Pentacles here as the likely outcome? Why is the Six of Pentacles here as the likely outcome? Why is the Six of Pentacles here as the likely outcome? the empress here see there is so much growth so much potential for a commitment here with the likely outcome here you guys will eventually get back you will get back for sure okay because we do see the page of pentacles here which is again something stable so yeah there are most probably there are chances that this person and you are going to communicate and there is going to be a start of something very very nice okay very creation of something new the empress and the six of pentacles this is balancing a situation and wanting to work towards each other with that equal give and take into creating something new something committed something long term okay so that's beautiful guys this is going to be awesome so uh let me know if this reading resonates in the comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye see you next time bye bye see you next time bye bye see you next time.